It's the global news story of the decade. Africa is rising. Africa is big news. Except when news happens elsewhere in the world and Africa gets ignored. Like Beyonce's sister. Actually, what's her name again? Seriously, I can't remember. One man will rise to the challenge. He'll cover all the continent's success stories and its tragedies. Even the ones where Westerners don't die. Rivaling Africa's biggest news networks to report stories that affect you. Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone? He's there. News coverage, live from the scene. <laughs> you did crazy. Oh boy, I did for London. Washington! No rules, no limits. Are you not hearing me? With financial backing from three African investors behind him. That's incorrect. None of those people are involved. With financial backing from two African investors. Um, one African investor? Uh, uh, don't you get it? Finding an African tycoon to invest in a truly global African media house is harder than getting Ghanaian footballers to play without a bonus. It can't happen. With no African investors backing... <laughs> wait, uh, what? And here now, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There is no African media powerhouse capable of keeping African stories on the global agenda. Well, not yet anyway. <laughs> it's bigger, sexier, and even more African-y. Welcome to the new season of your favorite show. What's up, Africa?